Can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey, darling, we could get out of town. See the beautiful world around, wanna see it now. Hey everyone, and welcome to The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I am so glad you're here. Today, we are doing the final installment of my tribute to the Pioneer Woman, and we're doing a dessert mm, slash bread type thing. Yeah, I don't know. You can consider it a bread or you consider it dessert, whatever. Um, but we are doing this today. Now, if you have not been tuning in and you have no idea what I'm talking about, a tribute to the Pioneer Woman, well, for the month of July, I've taken three weeks, or I'm going to take three weeks out of the month and pay tribute to cooks who have influenced me along the way. Now, week one was Paula Dean. This week is now being the Pioneer Woman. And week three is probably going to be a culmination of two to three other people. I'm not sure yet. <laughs> um, there's so many who have influenced me. And there's so many I want to highlight, but I'm not exactly sure which ones. So, uh, and that, that week may be delayed till the very last week of July. I'm not sure. But anyway, the Pioneer Woman has been one of those cooks that has influenced me. And I felt a connection with, mainly because we're both farmers, ranchers, that type of thing. So, um, we're going to get started on this. Um, and I just want to reiterate, uh, I am paying tribute to the cook, not the recipe. These are, this recipe is one I have never done before. So may or may not like it. Don't know. So if I don't like it, it doesn't mean I don't like the pioneer woman. It just means this recipe wasn't for me. And so, um, so I just wanted to reiterate that again, that I am paying tribute to the cook, not necessarily the recipe. So let me grab everything I need. I'll meet you back here at the island and we'll get started. The other videos I have done of the Pioneer Woman are her chicken spaghetti, which is a staple that I have always made here in our home. Um, I will link it down below. The second one I made was a squash casserole. I will try my best to remember to link it down below. It was delicious. And now this one, um, I will link her recipe, her actual link to this. Um, so you can go check her out. So I don't know if I'm going to be putting everything in order together, like she would put it in, but we're just going to go with it. Okay. I may be out of order in the recipe, but it's all going in the same place. So we're going to start with one and three fourths cup of all-purpose flour there's a cup there we go all right so that's one and three fourths cup of flour. Now, I think this is three fourths of a teaspoon of baking powder, baking soda, and a half a teaspoon of salt going in. I have baking soda, baking powder, which is both three fourths of a teaspoon and one half a teaspoon of salt going in now like I said oops like I said I will link her recipe just in case I'm forgetting what the measurements were all right and to that we're going to add I think it was a teaspoon of cinnamon so be sure to go back and check be sure to check let, go on her link to be sure because I got this ready a little while ago and I may have forgotten Now, guys, I'm not going to use a mixer because <laughs> I just don't want to drag it out. So I'm 
that's why I'm putting things together in a little differently than I normally would. So I'm going in, uh, what was this, three-fourths of a cup of granulated sugar and a half a cup of brown, packed brown sugar. All right, so... I see any clumps I want to get in here and break them up brown sugar sometimes gets clumps well white sugar does too all right so now let me go ahead and grab my oil and I will also beat up two eggs and get them ready to go in her recipe calls for vegetable oil, but I could not find vegetable oil, so I'm going to use avocado. I know it's a flavorless oil, so hopefully that'll be okay. I spilt a little bit too. All right, I'm going to just take one egg. These are some beautiful farm fresh eggs that my niece gifted me, <laughs> and they are absolutely beautiful. I'm going in with two of those. We are actually going to have these tonight for supper. We're going to have like a breakfast for supper. <laughs> I got a shell in there. That's why you break it in a container and not into your batter bowl that way it's contained all right so two eggs we'll set this aside so i've got in here my oil and my two eggs now and i'll Twist that around and maybe I should have used a spoon the spoon that I have laying out here to use go <laughs> all right sorry I wasn't thinking I've been cooking all day we're having a uh, baptism at church on Sunday and we're having 13 people be baptized and so we're going to do a um, meal afterwards so I'm going to remake the chicken spaghetti I saved the squash casserole and we are going to um, make all of the food i'm taking to the church potluck we're making it pioneer woman okay that was two teaspoons of vanilla going in maybe i should have used a hand mixer <laughs> so now we're going to go in with about a cup and a half of shredded zucchini Hang on, I got my husband to shred this zucchini for me. While I'm stirring it in, why don't you check out him shredding my zucchini? Look who I've got grating my zucchini. Hey, everybody. Got my handsome husband. I don't like the stuff it leaves on my hands. And so I asked him, I pleaded with him, will you please shred my zucchini for me? And he sweetly said of course all we need is a cup and a half so it shouldn't take much well she may not invite me into the kitchen anymore because look what i did to her grater uh it's broke that's called a heavy hand right there <laughs> heavy hand i didn't know i had too much strength <laughs> and that's a pampered chef thing too pampered chef quality oh. control <laughs> yep you need to upgrade pampered chef and a little more durability Okay, can y'all believe he broke 
my shredder, my grater. But anyway, it's okay. Bless his heart. He is the sweetest man to take his time out of. I mean, when I say he works nonstop, I kid you not. And to, he took time out of his day to shred my zucchini just because I don't like the way it feels on my hands. I mean, when I say it now, I'm like, that sounded silly. But y'all, I have the sweetest husband, the most wonderful husband in the whole wide world. Okay, so we're going to add a secret ingredient that I'm a little iffy on. I don't know about this. I've never had chocolate chips in zucchini bread, but we're going in with three-fourths of a cup of chocolate chips. And I have not had the first one. When I bought them, I was like, oh no. I am a, I mean, I could just like nibble. I'll, I'll, I'll tell myself, I'm just going to have a handful to get through and, and to quench my chocolate craving. And before I know it, I've eaten the rest of the bag. So, so far, I've not done it. I always have to check, make sure my mic is on. All right. So guys, my oven is preheated to 350. I can't remember how long we're going to leave this in for, but I have greased my loaf pan. Now, isn't this a pretty loaf pan? One of my sweet viewers sent this to me. Um, it's not Pioneer Woman, but it, you know, kind of has that look to it. So, all right. So we're going in here with this zucchini bread batter. All right. All right. And right on top of it, before we go in, um, before it goes in the oven, my sweet son made me this spoon. Is it not wonderful? I love it. Anyway, I'm going to take some sugar, some granulated sugar. Her recipe says coarse sugar. I don't have coarse sugar, so we're just going to use granulated, and I'm just going to sprinkle it on top. This will give it a nice crust and crunch, and it calls for two tablespoons, and that's what I have right here, so I'm going to do it. She did have some substitutions in her recipe, like, um, I probably should have dredged those chocolate chips in flour because I'm afraid they may have shrunk to the bottom. We'll see. All right, going in, 350 degree ovens. Anyway, the walnuts for chocolate chips, and you could also change for whole wheat flour and so forth. We'll see you back when it comes out of the oven. All right, everybody, here it is. I, I tried to, to turn it out and I've kind of messed up the pretty little crust, but uh, it wasn't quite ready to turn out. I decided to wait because um, I did it right as it was coming out of the oven. And I thought, you know what? I need to let that cool a little bit. So, okay, um, we're gonna run somewhere and we'll get Isaac to taste this in just a little bit. Since you know Bryant and I are watching carbs and that neither one of us, there's just so much in this that we cannot eat it. I'll have to tell you what Isaac says. I am gonna let him taste it, but it may not be when I'm filming. So I will let you know what he says about it and I'll let you know his honest opinion about it. But since we can't taste it, I'm going to take you on a little field trip. We're going to go to this place. Now, I try to stay away from anything sweet, even if it's good and healthy. But uh, I am occasionally get to craving something sweet. So we're going to make a stop in just a little bit at a place. It's in an antique shop. It's a lady's booth who she does healthy things. And she has several bakeries that um, sell to her healthy, healthy items. So we're going to go in there and see if I can't find me and Bryant a sweet treat. Since I made this zucchini bread and we resisted, 
we're going to see what um, what we can find there, what I can find there for Bryant and I. So come on, let's go take a field trip. Okay, everybody, Bryant changed his mind. He is going to take a small bite. He's not going to eat this whole piece. Now, let me tell you, be sure to dredge your chocolate chips and flour before you add them because they did sink to the bottom. Sunk to the bottom. But that makes a ooey gooey chocolate area. <laughs> That is really good. Really good. It's hot. <laughs> good flavor. Good and moist. Not dry at all. The, the top is, is really good. It's all I need is a cup of coffee. Coffee or milk? I prefer milk. But coffee would be good? Either one will do. All right. Well, there it is. Okay. We're still going on our field trip, but I wanted you to see this and see what Bryant thought. Okay, but be sure to dredge your chocolate chips and flour. Just, just sprinkle a little flour on it, toss them around. That keeps them from sinking to the bottom. Okay, everybody, we're here at our stop to go check out and see if we can find something sweet to eat that's healthy. Well, y'all, I'm heartbroken, and I'll show you why. Well, after that heartbreak and I went to that store and they were closed, I was just devastated. Well, my friend is the owner of the booth inside the store that has the items. And look what she did. She sent her husband to bring me some treats and some goodies. So we're set. <laughs> we're set. And so anyway, um, the zucchini bread will not be going to the baptismal meal because it's pretty much almost gone um and i probably wouldn't have taken it anyway because of the way the chocolate chips did but um everybody who tasted it isaac has come in here and he's just chopped on it and ate eating it and eating it and eating it uh, he says it's wonderful so uh, i do believe next time i make it i will opt for the walnuts instead of the chocolate chips I just can't get that right in my mind, but walnuts sound like they would go, or pecans or whatever. A nut would go better for me. So I do think if I make it again, I will definitely substitute the chocolate chip for walnuts, pecans, whichever. So other than that, I think it was a hit. Isaac loved it, actually. So, um, all right, we will see you guys next time on The Farm and Pastor's Wife. I appreciate you all so very much. Remember to hit subscribe if you haven't done so and share my videos on your social media. I love you guys and I appreciate you with all my heart. Remember, if the grease is hot enough, you can fry anything. Bye, y'all.